I hope everybody can see the question. Clear? Just I'm reading out the question. The right limb of A. Okay. The right limb of a simple YouTube manometer. Okay. Now, in the previous class, we have talked about this particular manometer. Clear? And in this YouTube manometer, it is containing it here the pink color, the whichever shade you are seeing, that is actually mercury. Okay. In this YouTube manometer, you have the mercury, and on on the other on one end of this particular YouTube manometer, it is open to the atmosphere. This is your right limb. All of you are clear. This is your right limb. Just this particular part I'm talking. This is your right right limb, and this is your your left limb. Got it? Now this is connected to a pipe in which there is a fluid of specific gravity 0.9. Here you can see there is a liquid. and the specific gravity of this particular liquid is 0.9 clear and one more thing is given the center of the pipe is 12 cm below the level of mercury so center of the pipe this is the center i'm talking about center of the pipe is 12 cm below the level of mercury this distance is given to you clear and this is which side it is with reference to the right side clear find the pressure of the fluid find the <clears throat> pressure of the fluid in the pipe if the difference of mercury level in the two limbs is 20 cm so what is the pressure of this particular fluid clear in this particular pipe which you are seeing clear and here what is the specific gravity you will say what is the specific gravity of the fluid that is given to you the specific gravity is 0.9 clear so you have to find out what is the pressure the question is clear to you all of you so that they can continue are you all there yes can you see the screen all of you shall we start doing the problem I think everybody has written the question. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No. Ah, somebody answer. Yes, sir. Please. Yes, sir. So, what is the given data? Please write down. Okay, all of you. Yeah, the given data. What is the given data? Again, let us go to that particular slide. What is the given data? This is one given data. Specific gravity zero point nine. center of the pipe is 12 cm below the level of mercury and one more thing is the difference of between the two limbs is given 20 cm only this thing is given and one more thing this data is given to you let us solve this same problem okay very easy problem this is now given data write it down all of you specific gravity okay specific gravity of the fluid which is flowing clear yeah. so let us take and in the while deriving the formula you have seen that the specific gravity of the mercury we are taking as h2 specific gravity of the fluid that is flowing through the pipe we are taking at s1 what is the specific gravity that is given to you in the question 0.9 okay now if you know the specific gravity you can find out what is the density of the fluid or not density of the fluid is rho What is the density of the fluid? What is the density uh, of the fluid? That is rho, rho one. Okay. Yeah, S one into one thousand. S one into one thousand. That is zero point nine into one thousand. So you'll get how much? Nine hundred kg per meter cube. Okay. Now, what is the second liquid which is there in the which is there? Now, this what is this liquid? what is this liquid which is there in the right side yes it is containing what it is a youtube manometer which is containing which liquid mercury mercury, mercury. very good the answer please yeah specific right write, write down specific gravity of mercury 
I'm writing in short form. So that you can take it as, because it is a heavy liquid, you have to take it as H2. This, this particular data is not given to you in the question. So you have to remember, got it? You have to remember the 13.6. So density of mercury. What is the density of mercury? We can take it as rho 2. Rho 2 is how much? Again, H2 into 1000. So 13.6 into 1000. Clear? 13.6 into 1000. So this is how much you'll get? 13600. Okay, good. Now, there is one more data that is given to you. Again, I'm going to this. Difference of the mercury level. Difference of the mercury level is given as how much? Difference of the centimeter. mercury level is how much? Very good. So this is, yeah, right side we are taking as, uh, this is H2 or not? This is your H2. H2. Clear? Because H2. You, here, yeah, H2. Because you see, this right side, uh, everything we have taken as what? Mercury. I hope you are writing. Slowly, slowly, I'm taking it. So, what is direction. the value of H1? Yes, that's what I'm. Uh, we'll find out. Slowly. Okay. okay. First, write down difference of mercury level, which is there in the right side. So, that difference of mercury level, we'll take it as H2. H2, how much it was given to you in the question? It is given 20 centimeter. So, convert it into meter. So, it is 0 0.2 meter. I hope the size of the letter is okay, or should I zoom it again? All of you, is, it is clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. The mobile phone, you put it in landscape mode, okay? Next. Somebody asked about H1. Let us find out. So, height of the fluid of H1. Who will say? What will be H1, you say? Height of, height of the fluid from this particular datum line. What is the datum line here? AA. AA is the datum line. So this is H1 or not? In the previous class you have seen. Yes, sir. This yes, is sir. H1. Yes, sir. So how, how, how to get this distance? 20 minus this 12. Distance? This is given. Very good. 20 minus 12. Got it? So write down height of fluid from the datum line. Okay, so that is nothing but H1, so 20 minus 12, so you got 8 centimeter, so 8 centimeter is 0 0.08 meter. Got it? So this is all the given data and some data we have found it out. Now, basically what you have to find out, find the pressure of the fluid in the pipe. Find the pressure of the fluid in the pipe, in this pipe, that we have to find it out. So let us find out. So, what is the pressure of the fluid? Who will say? What is the notation for pressure of the fluid? P. P equal okay. to rho C H. It is small p. Okay. Yeah. So, you have to write in this way to find out. What you have to find out? P, you have to find it out. Clear? Okay. So, how to find P? Now, in this diagram, you see, in this diagram, already I told you pressure in the left hand side is equal to pressure in the right hand side. Right hand side. Got it? Pressure in the left hand side equal to pressure in the left hand side. Both are equal. Got it? Both will be equal. Both are equal. Both will be equal. <coughs> so, write down that equation. Pressure on the left hand side lhs means left hand side is equal to pressure in the right hand side okay what is the pressure in the left hand side <coughs> okay yes, i request all to join the class beforehand okay what is the pressure <laughs> what is the pressure in the left hand side here, the pressure of the fluid or not? Pressure of the fluid. 
pressure of the fluid plus pressure of the fluid in the pipe okay and that is equal to pressure of the particular mercury which is there in the right hand side clear so how do you write here in the left hand side you have p which is pressure of the fluid p plus yes rho 1 g h1 why rho 1 g h1 who one can say <coughs> because in the left hand side we have the we have lighter fluid lighter liquid we have taken it as one or not yes sir is equal to in the right hand side we have rho 2 g h2 got it so whatever the things that you have you just substitute it clear yeah. so let us substitute p plus what is rho 1 as yes, what is rho 1 you got see the notes 900 into yeah 9.81 into h1 is 0.08 is equal to rho 2 is how much 13600 into 9.81 into what is h2 What is H two? Zero point two. Okay. So let us calculate this. Yes. If anybody has calculated, please carry on. The seven zero six point three two. Which one? First P into seven zero six point three two. Nine hundred into nine point eight one. Sorry. Nine hundred into nine point eight one. Into zero point zero eight. There is some problem. Nine hundred into nine point eight one into zero point zero eight. It is less. It is less than seven hundred six point three two. Are you getting? Which is equal to one three six double zero. Into how much? Thirty-seven. Who is final answer? Who is it? Peter. Okay. So this is two six six eight three point two. So P is equal to Two six six eight three point two minus seven zero six point three two. Get that, sir. Two five nine seven six point eight eight. Two five nine seven six point eight eight. It is going to Newton per meter square. Yes, sir. No. It is. Sir, meter square. Hmm, Newton plus meter square. As this is a big value, I can write this as two point five nine seven Newton per centimeter square. Can I write? Or by here also you can wind up the problem. Anything you can do. Okay. The problem is clear to you. All of you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. You have written. Okay. You have written all the questions. Yes, sir. Okay. Next, yes, write sir. this problem. Write this problem, all of you. Make it fast.
The next problem is a simple YouTube manometer containing mercury. It is connected to a pipe. A simple YouTube manometer containing mercury is connected to a pipe. Here you have mercury. You can see all of you. Now Excuse can... me, sir. Hmm. Sir, uh, can you say the answer sheet, please? Okay. <laughs> This one? Okay. Thank you, sir. So, starting. Complete. Okay. Completed? No, sir. Starting. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, a simple YouTube manometer. By seeing the diagram, what actually, which pressure you can calculate here? Who will say? See the diagram carefully. A simple YouTube manometer containing mercury is connected to a pipe in which a fluid of specific gravity 0 0.8. Here, there is a fluid. You can see all of you. What is the specific gravity of this fluid? 0 0.8. Okay. Having which pressure? Yes, answer. Having which pressure? Vacuum pressure. Okay. So, the other end of the manometer is open. Here, you can see that it is open to the atmosphere. Find the vacuum pressure in the pipe. Find the vacuum pressure in the pipe. If the difference of mercury level in the two limbs is 40 centimeter, this difference is given to you 40 centimeter, and the height of the fluid in the left from the center of the pipe, this is given 15 centimeter. Now, who will say what is H1 and what is H2? Yes, very simple. What is H1 and what is H2? Are, what is this? 50 cm to H1 or 40 cm is? Hmm, H1 H2, is 15 cm. H2 is 40 cm. Good. Like yeah. 55. So write, down, write, down the, write down the question. 55? How it will be 55? You see here, 15 centimeter. This liquid is 15 centimeter or not? From the center of the pipe. And it is in which side? In the left side. So directly this you can take it as H1. And this is H2. But in the previous problem also you see, this is not given to you. Previously see the diagram very carefully. This is a different diagram. And this is a different diagram where if this type of diagram is there, where on the which side? On this particular right side, above this datum line, if there is no fluid, then here you can calculate the vacuum pressure. And this manometer is totally different. Just try to remember. Here you, here you can calculate the vacuum pressure. Here you can calculate both pressures, vacuum as well as gas pressures. Okay. You have written the question and diagram. Shall we start? Or still writing? If you have completed, please say. If you have completed in writing the question. All of you are completed. Now, what, yes, is the, what is the given data? Just look into it. Specific gravity of lighter liquid is given. Okay. Specific gravity of heavier liquid already you know because it is a mercury. It is given already. It is a mercury. You have to find the vacuum pressure. This is what you have to find out. And H1 and H2 are given to you. And H1 is 15 centimeter. H2 is 
40 centimeter. You see, 40 centimeter, which liquid is there? Mercury. That is why we are taking it as a H2. H1 is a liquid which is present in the pipe, of which pressure you have to calculate. Here, the pressure that is created in this pipe, all of you, is that pressure is called as vacuum pressure. Okay? So, this is the given data. And here how we will try to solve the problem. I hope everybody has written the question. Shall we continue with the solution? Yes, sir. Yes. Next. Solution. Write down. Please write down. Don't waste time. First one is, I told you already, what is the given data? Let us write down. Clear? Given data. Specific gravity of liquid. How much it was given? Somebody say. Specific gravity is how much? Of the liquid, which will take it as 0. 0.8. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. Then what is rho 1? S1 into 1000. Rho 1 is density of the liquid. So what is S1 into 1000? 0. 0.8 into 1000. So how much you'll get? 800 kg per meter cube. <laughs> okay. Next. Specific gravity of, what is the heavier liquid? Mercury. 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 How much it is? It is not given. You have to remember this value. Okay. S2 is 13.6. So what is rho? Yes. What is rho 2? S2 is 13.6. Yes. 13600 kg per meter cube. Okay. Next. H1 is given is how much? Height of the liquid in the left left side. Height of the liquid in the left side. How much it is given? Left side. This is H1. 15, 15 centimeters. Okay. And what is the difference of mercury level? That is H2. Difference of mercury level is how much? H2? That is 40, 40, 40 centimeters. 40 Yes, H, so H1 is 15 centimeters. Let us write down. So convert it into meters, 0 0.15 meter. And H2 is 40 centimeters. Convert it into meters, that is 0 0.4 meters. Meter. Clear? This is what that given data. To find out, what you have to find out? Yes, what you have to find out? Vacuum pressure. Okay. <clears throat> what you have to find out? Vacuum pressure in the pipe. Clear? So vacuum pressure in the pipe take it as small p. This you have to find out. Okay? You have written this thing, all of you? I'm moving upward, okay? All of you have written? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Now, what you have to do? You have to equate the pressures. Equating the pressure above which line? Above the datum line. What is the name of the datum line? AA. In the diagram, you see. AA. Let me show you the diagram about this. Let us find out, equate the pressures. Clear? So how to equate the pressures? You see, here, is there any liquid present in the right-hand side? No. No, sir. No liquid. Everything is present in this side only. Yes or no? In the no. left-hand side. So there are, three, there are three pressures here. One is the vacuum pressure created in the pipe. Sorry, one is the vacuum pressure, which is P. The other is the pressure due to liquid, lighter liquid. And the other is pressure due to heavier liquid. Heavier. All are present in this All are present in this side or not? Yes, sir. So it, so it will be P plus rho 1 G H1 plus rho 2 G H2. Don't buy the formulas. 
just try to understand the concept is this clear how you got all of you <coughs> is it clear yes sir yes so let us write so how to find p p is equal to can i write as minus of minus taken common row 2 g h2 minus sorry plus row 1 g h1 is it correct simply substitute minus of row 2 is how much 13600 into 9.81 into <coughs> what is h1 0.15 plus what is row 1 800 into 9.81 into what is h1 nobody is saying i am writing wrong here nobody is saying please verify this h2 is 0 0.4 na see here yes sir yes sir why you why you not say so please find out this calculate by yourself so 13600 into 9.81 into 0.4 you got how much minus of 5336.4 plus 800 into 9.81 into 0 0.15. How much it is? 1177.2. 1177.2 plus 5336.4. So how much you got? Minus of? 5454.3.6. Mm, five four five four three point six. What is the unit? Newton per meter square. Or Newton if meter. you want, you can con Newton meter or, square. Mm, if you want to convert in Newton per centimeter square, it is five point four five four Newton per centimeter square. So this is your pressure. That is a vacuum pressure. Okay. <clears throat> I hope this is clear to you all of you. Yes, sir. <clears throat> okay. All of you have written this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let us do the next one. Huh? So write down this question. Hmm. Okay, write down this question. A YouTube manometer is used to measure the pressure of water. This is very, very important problem. YouTube manometer is used to measure what? The pressure of water in a pipeline. So here in this pipeline, what is there? Which liquid is there in this pipeline? <coughs> yes, water is present here. Got it? Yes, sir. Yeah, please answer. Water is there. Next. Which is in excess of atmospheric pressure? The right limb of manometer contains mercury. Right limb. In right limb, what you have? In right limb, you have mercury. Mercury. And is open to atmosphere. And it is open to atmosphere. 
Now the contact between water and mercury in the left is in the left limb. There is no doubt in the diagram you can see. Where is the contact? The contact between water and mercury is in left limb or right limb? Which limb? Left limb. Left limb. Left limb. Very, very good. So determine the pressure of water in the main line. Okay, you have to find out what is the pressure at point A. That is what he is saying. At this point, what is the pressure? If if the difference of level of mercury is 10 centimeter, this is 10 centimeter. I hope you can say what is this? Anyone? Yes, hmm. That 10 centimeter is what? Are you cool? 10 centimeter is what? That depends. Hmm. H1 or H2? See it very clear. Very good. Okay. Now, and the free surface of mercury is in level with the center of the pipe. Clear. Now, <clears throat> difference of mercury is also 10 centimeter as well as the level is also 10 centimeter from the center of the pipe. If the pressure of water in the pipeline is reduced to how much? If the pressure of water in the pipeline is reduced to 9810 Newton per meter square, calculate the new difference. Now remember here how many cases are there? This is not a single case. First, let us find out what is the pressure. You'll get determine the pressure of the water in the main line. You'll get one the value of the pressure of water in the main line you'll get or not. All of you got it? That is very easy. You can calculate what is the pressure of water in the main line. Once getting the pressure of the water in the main line, he's saying that that pressure of water you're reducing to how much? 9810. Okay, if you're reducing, ultimately, this particular, there will be a new difference in the level of mercury or not? That he's saying to find it out. Did you understand the question? First, let us find out what is the pressure of water in the main line. Okay, once you get the value of that pressure of water, then the second case is, if you reduce the pressure to 9810, what will be the new difference in the level of mercury? What will be the new difference level he is asking? So there are two different diagrams. This diagram is for the first case, where you will find out what is the pressure of water in the water, pressure of water in the main line. Did you write the question and draw the diagram? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Shall we start? Yes, sir. Now shall we start? Yes, Okay. <clears throat> so, what are the given data? What is the lighter liquid here? Lighter liquid is water. water. What is the water. Heavier, heavier liquid? Mercury. 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 Okay. What is the given data? First, write it, write it down. Okay. Given data is First one is difference of mercury level. What is the difference of mercury level? See here, what is the difference of mercury level? Hmm. 10 centimeter. Okay. The difference of mercury level is how much? 10 centimeter converted into meter. Okay, now the first part let us do. What is the first part? What is the first part? Yes. What is the first part? Determine the pressure of the water in the main line. Determine the pressure of water in the which lane? Main, main lane. Line. Okay, here there is some alphabet which is written. What is it? A. A. So here, 
at this point A, you have to find out what is pressure. Got it? At this point, pressure of water in the main line, you have to find it out. So let us write down. Small p suffix A, because that is the point. So what is P A? Write down. Pressure at A. Water in the pipeline. So that is which point? Point A. Okay. <coughs> now, you see there is there are two points more, three more points. One is point B, point C. Now let me ask you a question. B and C are in the same line or not? B and C are on the same yes, horizontal sir. line or not? Then yes, sir. the pressure at point B and the pressure at point C shall be equal or not? Are same. Pressure at point B and yes, at sir. point C are same yes, or sir. not? Yes, that we have read in, read in the yes, sir. So, pressure at point B is equal to pressure at point C. Why? If you want, you can write down as they are as they are on the same line as they are on the same <coughs> line got it now yes sir let me ask you one more question here what is the pressure at b we will say pressure at b will be equal to pressure at A and pressure due to the 10 centimeter or not? Pressure at B will be equal to yes, sir. pressure at A and pressure due to 10 centimeters. Okay. So write down. PB is equal to what? Pressure at A plus pressure due to what? Due to 10 centimeters. Sorry, 10 centimeter, or you can write 0 0.1 meter. 0 0.1 meter. Of, of, of what? Of water. So P of A plus, how to calculate pressure due to 10 centimeter of water? There is a formula, rho G H or not? Yes, sir. Rho G H or not? To find the pressure. What is the rho yes, of water? Sir. Rho of water into G One. into 0 0.1 meter. Okay, what is the row of water? All of you know. 1000 into 9.81 into 0 0.1. So no need of calculator here. 1000 into 9.81. It is, sorry, PA plus 981. How can I? 1000 into 9.81 into 0 0.1. You will get 981. Is it correct? Yes, sir. Sorry. Yes, sir. <coughs> Calculator. 981 Newton per meter. Now, let me ask you one more question. What is the pressure at C? Who will say? What is the pressure at C? Yes, what is the pressure at C? Pressure at B and pressure at C are same. But how to calculate what is the pressure at C? Pressure at yes, pressure at D. Pressure at D plus pressure due to due to, due to 10 centimeter of mercury. Yeah, this 10 centimeter is common, you see. For water is 10 centimeter, for mercury also it is same. Okay. So pressure at C you can calculate by pressure at D plus pressure due to 10 centimeter of mercury. Got it? Sir, I'll try to repeat for you. Okay, pressure at B and C are equal. The concept is clear because they are in the same line. Now let us calculate yes, what is the pressure at B. The pressure at B is equal to pressure at A plus pressure due to this 10 centimeters rise of water. Similarly, how to calculate pressure at C? 
president C is equal to president D plus pressure due to 10 centimeter rise of mercury. Don't confuse. That is why I'm not writing this is H1 or H2. H1, H2 both are same. Can you see here? H1, yes, sir. H2. H1 for water, H2 for mercury. Mercury. Okay, both are same. Clear? Yes, so let, let us find out. I think you have written till now, all of you. So what will be the pressure at C? What is the pressure at C? Pressure at D plus S. Who will say? Pressure due to 10 centimeter or 0 0.1 meter of what? Of mercury. Okay. Now let me ask you one question. Who will say what is the pressure at D? It is open. Already I told you in the last class. If this is open, what is the pressure at D? Zero. Very good. <coughs> All of you are clear why it is zero? Because one okay. side is open. Got it? So zero plus rho G H. This pressure also same formula? Rho G H. What is the rho of Hg? All of you, till now we have done many problems. What is the rho of Hg? 13600. Don't waste time by finding. Hmm, don't try, write again and again. Directly you can write in the exam also. 13600 into 9.81 into 0 0.1. Okay. So let us calculate this. 13600 into 9.81 into 0 0.1. How much you got? 13. 341.6 Newton per meter square. I think this is correct. Yes, sir. Hmm. Now, you have written something here. What you have written, you see? PB equal to PC. Yes, PB is equal to PC. So, what is PB? This. What is PC? This. So, from this already you know. You have already written, you see. From this I have brought. PB is equal to PC. Yeah. So let us equate. What is PB? Implies PA plus 981 is 981. equal to. What is PC? Okay. So calculate PA. 1, 1, 1 3, so one two three six zero point six. One two three six zero point six. Is it correct? Yes, sir. Okay. You see, pressure at D is zero. Pressure at C also you have found out. Pressure at A also you have found out. So the first part of the question is over. Do you have any doubts here till here? Till here it is clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shall we, shall we go to the next? Now, what is the second yes, part? <coughs> if that, now, all of you please see your notes and say how much is the value of PA? How much is the value of PA you got? One two three six zero point six. This is the value or not? Now, yes, sir. yes, sir. In the in the second part, what you're doing? You're reducing that pressure of water in the pipe by how much? You're reducing to nine thousand eight hundred and ten. How much you're reducing? Nine thousand eight hundred ten. Once if you reduce it, what is the new difference in the level of mercury? This difference you have to find out. Got it? So for this, there is a different diagram. This diagram, you note it down. See, once you change the pressure, see, in this diagram, you see B and C are in the same line. Okay? Difference level of water, difference level of mercury are same. But once you reduce the pressure from 
12,000, sorry, yeah, 12,360. 12,360.6. You are reducing it to how much? 9,810 Newton per meter square. Once if you reduce, the total diagram will change or not? You see the diagram. Is this clear? Draw yes, the sir. diagram. Please see the difference. Here, D, here we have taken D, here C, here B. But when you reduce the pressure, mercury level, level will come down. In the previous problem, this was BC. Now you will have different B star and C star. Different level pura change is well. This D will come to D star. Mercury level that could decrease. Ochi. Pressure decrease mane kon over. It a vacuum na. It is open to the atmosphere. So this this particular thing will decrease. So the value of X you have to find. <coughs> Draw the diagram. Completed. First, to draw it, then I'll, I'll explain you the diagram. Yes, sir. Completed. Now I'll ask you two questions. Now this this was the first diagram. All of you see carefully. The pressure was around twelve thousand three sixty point six newton per meter square. From twelve thousand three sixty point six, you're decreasing to nine thousand eight hundred and ten. My question is: volume of water and volume of mercury will it change? Volume, volume. Volume will never change. Already, it is already the volume is same. The first part and second part. Will you agree? Volume remains the same. So, in the earlier case, from point B to this, point A, where the pressure you are finding, this was 10 centimeters or not? See, previous, yes, previous uh, diagram. Now, yes, sir. Here, Due to when you decrease the pressure, what is happening here? The mercury level is raising or falling? The mercury level, is it raising or falling? Raising. In the left limb. Raising. Raising. But here in the right limb, the mercury level is? Decreasing. Falling. Decreasing. Falling. falling. Okay. Don't say decreasing. Here the mercury level is raising. Here the mercury level is falling. Sir, how you are able to say? This is the new datum line, B star and C star we have taken. Okay, same concept. Pressure at point B and pressure at point C are equal. Pressure at B star and pressure at C star are equal because they are in the same line. If this is X, whatever the rise in mercury level will be there, the same rise, the same fall of mercury level will be there in the right side or not? Are here how much rise is there? The same rise is there with the fall or not? Are one liter of water, water is there in the water bottle. One liter water bottle. You have taken uh, 200 millimeter of water. So 200 millimeter of rise of water in the glass, 200 millimeter of fall in the one liter of bottle. Whatever water content you are taking in the glass. 
the rise of water in the glass fall of water in the bottle are same or not because the volume never changes that is why both x you are taking got it so if this is 10 okay. if this is x what is this 10 minus x 10 minus x this is your 10 minus x now what is this you see if this is a 10 minus x and this is x what is this 10 minus 2x got it sir why we are doing it because in order to find out what is the pressure at c star what is the pressure at b star pressure at b star and pressure at c star are same if you want to find out pressure at c star the height of level of rise of mercury you have to know if you want to find out the pressure at B star, as we have found out in the previous section, same concept, you should know what is the what is the difference of water level. That is the 10 minus x. Got it? All of you have drawn this question. Yes, sir. Now let us do the second part, then we can wind up. Now this is your second part. In the second part, only one data is given. What is the given data? Pressure at A. You are decreasing to how much? Yes, somebody answer. 9,810. Okay. Now in this diagram, whatever we have seen, let us see. What is the pressure at A here? The pressure at A you have decreased to how much? 9810 Newton per meter square. Now, which is less than the actual value or not? What is the actual value you got? What is the one, actual two, value three, you got six, here? Zero, one, two, three, six, one, zero, two, three. I'm showing that. This is the mm -hmm. actual value that you got it. Okay. So okay. it is less or not? So it is less than that. Yes, sir. So, the mercury in the left limb, what is happening to the mercury in the left limb? Mercury in the left limb is raising or falling? Raising. raising. Mercury in the right limb is falling. Falling. Is falling. So falling, mercury, sir. Yeah, mercury, for reference, you write down mercury in the left limb. What it is happening? Rises. Mercury in the left rim rises. Which is equal to mercury in the right limb which is falling or false. That is equal to I can take it as X or not. Can I take or not? Because the volume is same. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes. So, what is X here? <coughs> X is, all of you write down, rays of mercury in which limb? Left limb. X you can take also because both are same. Volume of mercury doesn't change. Fall of mercury in which limb? In which limb? Right limb. Right limb. Got it? Yeah. Now, all of you see carefully. In the previous one, B, C, D, these were the initial conditions or not? B, C, D were the initial conditions and you found out what is the pressure at A. You found out or not? You got 12,360.6 yes, Newton per meter square. Now, in the second case, what are the final final points? B star, C B star, star and C star, D star. 
these are the final conditions so you got three new points b star c star and d star these are the final condition points final condition points <coughs> okay now you say me pressure at b star is equal to pressure at c star or not can i write pressure at b star is equal to pressure at c star yes or no yes sir because they are in the same, same line. horizontal yes, line sir. okay now let us find individually pressure at b star let us find out first who will say what is the pressure at b star see the diagram and say oh, how to calculate what is the pressure at b star make it fast pressure at a plus pressure due to difference of water level yes, so p b star is pressure at a plus pressure, pressure due, to. due to due to what again you see due to what n minus s due n to what for minus s n minus s Ten minus six. Due to sir zero point one minus six. Karo. Kon koi la? Sir zero point one minus six. Karo. Chuda zero point one. Mu kahi ki lekho ni? Mu kahi bhi last. If you. Yes sir. Lekho. Here, yeah. so ten minus x centimeter of water. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. I'll say we will write at the end. We will write. Don't worry. Now you say, what is the pressure at A? Are the pressure at A? How much? One, two, three, six, zero point six. कौन वन टू थ्री प्रेजरेट ए डिक्रीज कर लो पर है नाइन इट वन दो फर्स्ट सेकंड कंडीशन या डिक्रीज है ना नाइन एट वन जीरो जीरो प्लस हाउ टू फाइंड प्रेजर ड्यू टू टेन माइनस एक्स रो जी हेच रो ऑफ वाटर कितने वन थाउजेंड वन थाउजेंड इनटू नाइन पॉइंट एट वन इनटू Ten minus x. How much? Ten minus x. Okay. So somebody was saying, na. So in order to not make it complicated, so what you'll do is, if I do divided by hundred, convert hai jo ki nahi meter re. Meter ka convert hai lo ki nahi. Or you can do zero point one also. It is up to you. Anything you can do. Got it. So this is the pressure at B star. Now, next what? This is completed. Next what to find out? Pressure at C star. Who will say pressure at C star? Jaldi. How to calculate pressure at C star? Pressure of D star plus. Hmm. Pressure at D star plus. Pressure D. Pressure due to 10 minus 2x centimeter of mercury. Three. Mercury. What is the pressure at D star? Who will say? It's simple. Pressure at D star. कितना होगा? Is there any liquid here? तो ऐसा zero होगा. Thank you. हाँ, zero. Got it. So pressure at C star. Let us find out. Pressure at C star is Pressure at B star plus pressure due to कितने थे लेते हैं ten minus two x centimeter of mercury mercury 
So P of C star is equal to pressure at D star is zero or not? Yes, Plus sir. Plus rho G H. What is rho of H G? One three six double zero into nine point eight one into ten minus two X divided by hundred. Why hundred? I am doing is I am converting into meters. Got it. Now both are same or not? P B star and P P C are same. Okay. Now let us. Shall we equate? Yes, sir. Nine eight one zero plus. One thousand into nine point eight one into ten minus x by hundred is equal to one three six double zero into nine point eight one into ten minus two x by hundred. Is it correct? Yes, sir. Is it correct? Both the equations. Yes, sir. Now, in a very simple way, I'll do. Divide both the sides. Divide both the sides by nine point eight one. Clear? Let us divide one by one. Nine eight one zero divided by nine point eight one. Kitha asio? One thousand. Hello. Plus, it nine point eight one nine point eight one. Count over. Cancel it, Joe. Hmm. Cancel it, Joe. Hello, count over. Hello. Ten by no six. Thousand. Thousand plus. Ten into ten by no six. Hmm. Ten into. Is this clear? See, it's a cutlet. It's a it's a cutlet. Divide it, Colonel. So, how will I go? Ten into ten minus x. So, ten into ten hundred minus ten x. Would a step move skip, Colonel? Is this clear? Yes, sir. This two gets cancelled. One thirty six. Nine point eight one. Nine point eight one gets cancelled. So, one three. Sorry. You cannot cancel one three. Hmm. What the hell? Eta mu bhool korsi ke bhi kohu. A thirteen point six into one thousand. What the? One three six double zero. But ठीक हो जाता है. Six double zero. ठीक हो जाता है. हाँ. तो इटा कितने आसियो? One three six. One three six into nine into ten minus two. आउ तो ten कहीं का आसियो. इट्स एक इच्छी नहीं ना. Nine point eight one रही है. मल्टीप्लाई You see, uh, if you want, you can do step by step. Time is all right, na extra punch me thei gila. Thethi me must steps skip koruchi. Step buja pula samastho gu. Yes. Two seventy two x minus ten x is equal to one three six zero minus eleven hundred. We see it. Thousand plus hundred. I put a zero. Eleven hundred as here. Okay. So I'm writing directly the. Uh, let us see, 272 minus x. 272 minus uh, 10 is how much? 262 x is equal to. What did I say? Uh, what 1360 minus 1100? What is 260? So x is equal to 260 by 262. What did I say? 0.99. Mm, very good. 
जीरो पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट नाइन नाइन जीरो पॉइंट नाइन नाइन कौन हो मीटर न्यूटन न्यूटन सर डिस्टेंस डिस्टेंस इट इज एक्स ना मीटर मीटर सॉरी हाँ मीटर मीटर जीरो पॉइंट नाइन नाइन मीटर है सर एक्स कैसे आस रहे तुम्हारा Zero point nine nine meter. Okay, so this is the answer. Any any doubts? No sir. Okay, I'll take two more minutes. Okay. No sir. So these are the problems. Uh, I will upload the video also in the YouTube. If any doubts, you can uh, go on. Okay. Now two more minutes. Wait. 